Targeting Kohl's giving investors a reason to cheer this morning. Shares of both retailers climbing after reporting better than expected earnings. And with us now to discuss is retail expert Aaron Sykes and Melissa Armo, the owner of the stock Swoosh. Ladies, great to have you with us. Good morning. Thank you. All right, so Aaron, we're going to start with you here. Target, uh, same store sales and earnings both coming in above estimates. What is driving the growth in Target's case? Well, in general, there's a lot of disparity in retail right now, and it's retail Darwinism. So the survival of the fittest, of the most innovative, and Target, and then if we look at Amazon and Walmart and some other brands as well, they're the ones that are truly doing on the channel right. They're putting the investment not only into their you know, existing brick and mortar, but then also online, marrying the two really synergistically, and then looking at things like grocery and delivery and pickup services. So that is where a lot of Target and the other retailers' growth is coming from. So Melissa, has, has Target figured it out? Well, I will say the stock switch tip of the day is go, don't go by the sector, go by specific stocks, which ties into exactly what she just said. You can't think all retail now is going to turn around and look like this. Target today looked very strong in the earnings, a lot better than Kohl's, even though Kohl's gapped up too. Target is good over 78. Now, it's not there right now, but it got close. It got very close. It could lift around. It's only not that far off the highs. Previous highs in Target was about $90 back in September 2018. So I like the way that this stock looks coming into so early in the year. Remember, a lot of these retailers, they call it Black Friday because they're black all, they're red all year, then they go in the black towards the end of the year. So to have the beginning of the year start out fresh like this is great. But again, the tip is, don't immediately jump in thinking, oh, all retail is going to look amazing this year. That's not the case. You have to be stock specific. Okay, so let's pull up a chart of Target here just to get started. This stock's still up about 4% pre-market, certainly off its highs, but there you're seeing an overnight charge. Uh, investors do like what they have to see. Um, Aaron, I know that you mentioned, right, delivery, easier mm -hmm. delivery. Uh, that has been the case not only for Starbucks, but Walmart, too, in the age of Amazon. And both of these companies, is this a short-lived effect, or is this something where they have real firepower, Target and Walmart, too, to compete against in Amazon? I mean, it's competitive, right? So it is it's starting that firepower and making sure that they evolve and continue on because you don't want to just give it all away to Amazon they're going to be opening their own grocery stores so like you got to make sure you're continuing to stay in the mix and it's not just in the mix but ahead of the mix so looking at Amazon is a nod to what is coming along but then quickly you'll see Target Walmart evolve as well. Oh, well. The one good thing is that, remember, Amazon doesn't have a brick and mortar store. Target and well, Walmart Whole Foods. do. Right, but you know, it's not the same thing as selling all the other products. And you sell more, I'm sure you'll agree with me, when you get the people in the door. That's how you sell more products to people. Online is great, and you gotta have that to compete with the free ship. And now Target's doing the one day ship, like Amazon, which is great too in specific cities. But having that brick and mortar, really, you tend to buy more. When you go in the store, you try things on. Well, and the thing is, you can't be online only anymore. You can't be brick and mortar anymore. The larger the company, the more the omnichannel focus is important, and making sure that you leverage that real estate, not just to sell to customers, but for other opportunities. Okay, let's shift now to Kohl's. Uh, because that company also uh, beating on earnings and then also a, a bright spot there for the quarter and for the year would be same store sales growth not only for the fourth quarter of 2018 but also for the entire year uh, and then a positive outlook for the remainder of the year this is a turning point for for Kohl's what has Kohl's been doing I'm very uh, that, curious that yeah yeah <laughs> so I'm very am I. curious <laughs> so am I. because I'm very confident with Target I see Target continuing to do well I think that Kohl's based on you know, their Q4 earnings, looks like they're in a good place. But it's really going to be time will tell. Are they going to be able to play a little bit of catch up and evolve with the rest of the crew? What do you think? Uh Melissa. Well, people like that, like that, like Coles, like Coles. They have the Coles bucks. People that go there for the sales and things. But I will tell you, as far as the stock goes, I like Target stock better than Coles after the earnings mm -hmm. this morning today. Now I could change my mind second time around next quarter earnings for Coles. But right now, Target looks a lot more promising. If you want to get in a stock that's strong, again, over 78, preferably over 80. Coles is nowhere near the highs right now. Both of these stocks looked very similar again towards the fall of last year. But now, I think Target looks a lot better than Kohl's. Kohl's has got to get over 73, 74 to look really like a good strong buy to me. And it's not there today. And in fact, it's dragging down because the market's down today. The market, though, I will say one quick thing about the market is doing the best thing it possibly can this morning, considering the sell-off that we had yesterday. Market gapped up this morning. We haven't held it yet. 
but we're trying. The market's hanging on after that big sell-off yesterday. Uh, interesting, too. I mean, Kohl's, for its part, right up 4.5% this morning. We can take a look at the chart here to see exactly how it is performing. But Target, for its part, same store sales up 5.3 percentage points. Kohl's, the same store sales up one percentage point. And so that figure in and of itself mm -hmm. seems to say something, Aaron. Exactly. So you see both are on an upward trend, but Target is just getting there a little bit more quickly, about five times as quickly. So we'll see that think continue to evolve through 2019. I don't see Target or I don't see Kohl's pulling back. I don't see retail in general pulling back, but I see these real strong winners kind of coming out of the gates quickly like Target, and you'll continue to see that exacerbated throughout the year. What I want to see Target do is follow through higher, which Walmart didn't do on its last earnings. Walmart had blowout earnings and then dropped like a brick. I don't want to see Target do that. I want to see Target lift around, lickety split, like in the next week. And I will say one thing about Target too, they're coming out, and this is different from Kohl's with some of their own brands and lingerie, sleepwear. They're trying to compete with their Secret. They're getting their own brands and selling their own things. So that's a niche. That's good for Target. Whereas I don't see that necessarily with Kohl's. And also they picked up a lot of the store sales with the with the little Toys R Us and the Baby yeah. R Us that, that, right. that fell off then last year and went out of business too, unfortunately. I know, uh, in that all-important holiday quarter. Yeah, and Melissa, we know you're excited about Target. Aaron, are there any other retail names that you're watching closely that you are excited about? Well, you know, I'm, I'm curious to see what's going to happen with Victoria's Secret. Are they going to spin off the VS brand? Are they going to bring Bath & Body public? What's going to happen with Gap? I think we have a lot of positive news Right, is Gap going to spin off Old Navy as a separate? Yes. Right? It, it so is. They're, so I mean, they're split. What's it going to look so, like? What's that going to look like? You think that, I think that Old Navy is going to see that really positive projection. Um, Gap is more of, you know, like a sleeper. Let's see what happens. Um, and then, you know, you have Salesforce doing really well. You have all of the back-end operations, the oracles, et cetera, the things that drive, you know, the back-end uh, of retail. That's looking positive, too. So the AI, the um, kind of analytic piece, I think that that's going to be the, the driver of any future growth. Who is taking advantage of all of those tools versus who's just kind of sleeping with their current. Always competitive in this space. Melissa Armo, owner at the Stock Swoosh and retail expert Aaron Sykes. Ladies, thanks for joining Thank us. You. Thank you.